Well, the time compressed version just doesn't sound very good. Let me let me uh, show you what we're talking about here. Audio technology, sound engineering, sequencing, synthesis, mics, mixers, recording techniques. Yeah, that's just a little bit too frantic for me. So uh, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to re-record it. I'm going to instead do a little bit of editing on it, take out some parts, and then leave it the, the, the speed that it once was. Okay, so let's see. Um, the, the interesting thing about Pro Tools is that all the editing that you do, all the time compression that you do, everything that you do is non-destructive. That means that when you do time compress something, you don't actually compress the original file, you actually create a new file that's time compressed. So we can go back and recover the original one very easily. And this is the way it's done. I go down here, open up the clips column, and that's the original one that we recorded. This one, as you can see, is the time compressed version. So all I have to do is grab the original, bring it back down to the editing area, move it to the beginning, and sure enough you can see how much time compression happened on this one compared to the original one right here. So let's click on that and then press delete. It's that easy to get rid of it. Then we'll click on this one, just drag it up to there, and so the original has been restored. Now, uh, I guess I don't really need this uh, audio track here, so let's just get rid of it. It's very easy to do. Just go up to the track menu and press delete, and it's gone. So now, I'm going to use the selection tool, and I'm going to start by selecting a couple of words, a couple of phrases here that I might really want to get rid of. Audio technology, sound engineering. Okay, those are the two that I really want to get rid of, but you can hear that it didn't quite catch the end of that. That's because I'm in grid mode. And when you're in grid mode, your cursor snaps from one grid section to the next grid section. You can set up these grid sections for anything you want, but right now they're set right here. And uh, it's very easy to get out of grid mode. Instead of grid mode, I'm going to go to slip mode. And now you can see... Sure enough, I can get to wherever I want to. Let's expand that a little bit and see if I got exactly what I needed. No, not quite. I need to get all the way to the end of here. So let's click there, go all the way up to there, and test it out. Audio technology, sound engineering. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I want to get rid of. Real easy to get rid of it. All I have to do is press the delete key on my uh, computer and then use the hand to simply drag that back. Now remember, I'm in slip mode. If I were in grid mode, it would snap back to each one of those grid portions. And while I'm at it, let me uh, back out of this a little bit with Command Z. Command Z backs out a couple of steps here. And let's show you a slightly different way of doing that, and that's shuffle mode. The only thing that's different about shuffle mode is that when I delete this portion, this part right over here will snap back right to the uh, butt end of the first section. So watch it very carefully. Look at those right there. And I press delete, and sure enough, it snapped back to there. So that takes care of those two words. Let me get another couple of words, a couple of phrases uh, at the end here. See if I can get rid of some of that. I'll start here. Let's see. The camp's own certificate. No, that's not it. Right here. Right now. Now I can do without right now. Let's just select that. And again, we're in shuffle mode, so all I have to do is press the delete key on my computer. And sure enough, it's gone. Right here. The camp's own certificate in music technology. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and, uh, well, we'll use the trim tool here. Oops, I don't want to use the time compression tool. Let's uh, choose the standard uh, trim tool. 
and trim that. Maybe trim the front of it a little bit. And that should be pretty good right where we have it. Now, um, I'm going to heal the separations that I made simply by taking the hand tool. That's Incidentally, that's called the grabber tool, too. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click on that and also click on that. Now I've got three sections uh, selected and I'm going to take out the separations between them. Consolidate clip. Whammo! Got a brand new clip and it's 26 seconds instead of being over 30. That'll work just fine for me. One other thing <clears throat> before we get on to the next section of this Let's go ahead and do one aesthetic change. I'm going to go here. Music production. Sequencing synthesis mic. Music production. Sequencing synthesis mic. Okay, there's a little bit of a problem in that uh, I, I would really like this beginning of that sentence to be a little bit louder. And I can do that pretty easily. Again, let's expand out a little bit. Sequencing, synthesis, mics, mixers. Re okay, now in order to do that, I'm just going to make that syllable, those that word right there, just a little bit louder so it sounds like the start of a section. In order to do that, I'm going to go here and select volume instead of waveform. Now a shadow of the waveform is there so I can see what I'm doing, but what I really want to do is make the volume just a little bit louder on that word right there. Real easy to do that. I'm going to use the hand tool and I'm simply going to click here. That put a little bit, uh, a little tiny dot there. Then I'm going to click here and then I'm going to click about there. Go to that middle one and raise it up. And let's see what we've got there. I think that should sound like I'm making a little bit of a louder part of the first, the first part of the sentence. You want to get serious about music production. Sequencing, synthesis, mics, mixers, recording. Yeah, it's, it's really subtle, but a good editor will really do these subtle things and make it sound like it, uh, that's the way we recorded it. 